The family of a man shot and killed in confrontation with Huntington Park police officers are filing a multi-million dollar lawsuit. They say Anthony Lowe, a W amputee, was murdered. KTLA's Alina Bovian live in Huntington Park now with the latest. Alina, good morning. And Jessica, good morning. We have heard from the family and they say there is no way that he was a threat considering he was on a wheelchair trying to get away from officers. But officers say a different story. Now, all that is still under investigation, but the family today at 10 a.m., they will be holding a news conference here in Huntington Park announcing that lawsuit against the city of Huntington Park and also the police department. Now, take a look. This is cell phone video that was shot the day that Anthony Lowe was shot and killed here in Huntington Park. This was last Thursday afternoon in the 1900 block of Slauson. LA County Sheriff's investigators say Huntington Park police responded to a stabbing call. When officers arrived, they saw Lowe, the stabbing suspect, who was also a double amputee. He was armed with a large 12-inch butcher knife in his hand. The officers say he was out of his wheelchair and crawling away on his remaining limbs. The officers tried to detain Lowe, but he threatened the cops with a knife. The officers attempted to use their stun gun twice, but they say it was ineffective. The officers Officers claim he tried again to throw the butcher knife at them, which resulted in the officer opening fire. Anthony Lowe's family, they believe very strongly his death was unjustified. Earlier this week, they stood in front of the Huntington Park Police Department calling for justice. I just want the truth, nothing but the truth, and justice for my son. My son was murdered. This is a man father, a son, a brother who was gunned down by the police. So that's what matters to us right now. And Anthony's low, Anthony Lowe's sister reportedly says that her brother's legs had been amputated last year after an altercation with law enforcement in Texas. Lowe's family and community activists, they believe police shot him in the back and they think security video from the business at the scene can prove it. Now back out here live, uh, the sheriff's department at this point is taking over this investigation. They have not released any surveillance video from the scene from that neighborhood that day. As for body cameras, we're told that Huntington Park Police, they don't wear body cameras and the officers involved in the shooting. They have all been placed on paid administrative leave, which is standard protocol in this case. We'll send it back to you.